Hey guys, it's TechGrant here. Welcome back to another guy video. Today we'll teach you how to fix the NVIDIA GeForce Experience error code 0x0003 with you guys today. But before we get the video started though, guys know we do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The link down below to our Twitch channel. Check us out there for right now. Let's teach you what you need to do. Before we get started solving this problem, I need you guys to go download a few things so we can get this solution fixed. You need to go to the website down below I linked and install display driver on installer. So you want to go to this one right here and then you want to go to the official download link. So you want to grab this one, the download supported one under official, click this one, of course, and let that on install. Then once that install, I want you to click on it and then show in folder. Once in show in folder, I want you to copy this file and then paste it in your desktop. So you're gonna go to desktop, create a new folder, what we'll is called new folder for the time. And then we're gonna paste that, that we just got right there. Now with that, we're gonna extract the file from it as an administrator. So once you extract this as an administrator, it'll put it on your PC so that way we can get started. And then we're gonna do a few more things beforehand. So now that we have in this folder right here, we wanna open this on up. We want to open this and run as administrator, of course. And we're not going to run it just yet for what we're going to do because we want to put the PC in safe mode, which I will show you how to do that because it even says right here, you want to put in safe mode. So yeah, but you want to make sure you have this. You can leave everything exactly the same for the time being. And now that we have done that, we have installed this and we're good to go. And now we're going to go into safe mode so we can get to the next solution. So how to get in safe mode is pretty straightforward. What you want to do is go to your Windows icon and then you want to click reset. But before you click restart, you want to hold shift on your keyboard, then click the restart button. Now, what will this do? It's going to put you into safe mode. Well, it'll put you into the thing before safe mode, and we're going to troubleshoot, then go into safe mode, which I'll show you to do that here. So remember the hold shift while your computer is restarting. And if you do this right, you should have this screen pop on up. Now that we got this screen popped on up, let me show you how this, and I want to give you guys like my face cam, of course, so I can actually like go through the whole process with you so you don't mess anything up because you do not want to mess up anything in here, okay? So we're going to click troubleshoot. Within troubleshoot, we're going to advanced options. Within advanced star options, you want to do startup settings of course you want to click this one exactly so now with that we're going to click restart and then we're going to push four on the keyboard because it's going to give you a list of which ones you want to activate you would click four to put in the safe mode before clicking four though just make sure the read over just in case that maybe it's not four for you it could be something else i highly do doubt that though but it could depend depending on the motherboard so i would highly recommend just wait for a second and let this load on up so here we go it's going to say enable safe mode click four so of course we're going to click four on our keyboard like so and do that now what we're going to do here is go in here sign on in like we usually do but we'll have it load up safe mode which is the lowest settings possible not loading settings lowest amount of drivers windows can upload so if you were to mess anything up in here you wouldn't mess really anything up like it's very low chance unless you're doing something really weird i would say or something sus so you should, you won't mess up anything in here of course you'll be in safe mode once you know you got the black screen of course and what we're going to do is go find that folder we just made that new folder and we're going to open this up like so now within here we're going to go in the file again we're going to run this as administrator of course and when we run this as administrator we want to select the type of gpu we have so my gpu is an nvidia gpu so i'd select this because we're fixing this for nvidia geforce experience we click select device type gpu it's going to say nvidia and we want to click clear and restart to solve the problem okay and then we have to reinstall everything for the gpu driver so we're going to click that like so we're going to let this run Okay, now that that is done running and your computer's reset, it's going to load up Windows like it normally would, and we're not going to be in safe mode. So, once we get in here, you're going to, of course, sign in like you normally would to your PC, and then we're going to go onto Google and re-download GeForce Experience. With that, there will be a fresh install of GeForce Experience and a fresh driver, so you have the problem fixed. I did this earlier with a friend of mine, another Twitch streamer, and this fixed his problem. He was actually having a problem when he was downloading a new driver for NVIDIA for Fortnite. So, yeah. We got that fixed with ease. So we're gonna of course sign in like we would, and then we're going to let this load on up like it normally do. So just give this a second here. And now of course we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go look up G Force Experience. And I can't spell experience for the life of me, so just ignore that. And of course we're gonna click on this one, and I'll link this down below to after like you've finished updating or removing the drivers. You're gonna click download GeForce Experience because GeForce Experience will no longer be on your PC now that you've uh, done this fresh restart. All 
Okay, now that your computer is reset, you want to sign in like you normally would and then run GeForce Experience. I would highly recommend you run it as administrator, of course, once your computer is reset and back into normal Windows up to safe mode, and then click agree and install. Once we have agreed and installed, we're gonna just let this run in like it would, and then reinstall GeForce Experience because you did a clean and restart. You did a fresh wipe of your GPU, so you will not longer have G GeForce Experience on there, nor any drivers. So you're gonna have to just install a fresh thing of GeForce Experience, and then you're gonna, of course download the latest driver that you need. And of course, you're gonna have to sign in. So give me a second to sign on in. Okay, cool. So then once you've actually logged into GeForce Experience with Google, Facebook, or whatever you use, you will be asked to do a tour. You want to just skip this, of course, because we're not here for this. We don't need this. We're going to go into drivers. Then before we download anything in drivers, I highly recommend you click check for update just in case there's a newer driver that got like released today. And if there isn't, then you're good to go. Now we're going to click on the latest driver that's available for NVIDIA. We're going to click on this, of course. It's going to give it a second to download, then put on your computer. And then we're going to actually do a custom and Installation, okay. Now we're gonna do of course the custom installation. Like I said earlier, we're gonna let this run like so. We're gonna click yes, and this is gonna install the latest driver from NVIDIA, and this should fix your problem because I've had this problem before with my boy Gabe, and he was having this problem earlier. Luckily, I knew how to solve this problem, and it was fixed after this. And then I would highly recommend after the, this is finished installing, you run Heaven's Benchmark or you run something similar, like uh, maybe User Benchmark. That way you can just let it see if there's any other problems with your computer. Because if this doesn't fix the problem or if it doesn't fix your game problem, if you're having a game problem, then it's probably your game that's causing the issue, not your GPU. So of course you're gonna do custom install. You're not gonna do the check mark at the bottom. You don't want that because you don't need to clear off anything because you just cleared off everything. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. So you're just gonna let this run real quick here. And then, of course, you want to restart your PC. So this is finished installing because you want to restart your PC usually on these kind of things. Same thing with like a boot up on a new BIOS. You want to restart your computer so that way it gets like a fresh boot. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's going to do that one time just because you have nothing on your GPU whatsoever driver-wise. It's like a fresh driver. So it's going to do that black screen. So don't stress out about that. Uh, the only way you should stress out about that if you messed up during this process, which I don't think you will. So... If you follow this tutorial correctly, you shouldn't mess up anything. Okay. Now that install is complete. That's awesome. And now you can check for updates again. You'll say you have the latest drivers. Yes, you have the latest drivers. Then I highly recommend you restart your PC and then this login wouldn't like you normally would. And if you have done everything correct up to this point, you should no longer have the error code and you should be able to play games perfectly fine whatsoever. So that's what I'm going to go do right here in just a bit. But I recommend if you do have Heaven's Benchmark or use a benchmark to run it real quick because I will be running one of those two later here. And then if both of those are fine, you have no more issues. And then one to two hours, you should be able to gain full power on your GPU again. But um, yeah, if it is to fix your solution to your problem and this answered it, make sure to smash the like button, drag and punch it, subscribe button. And don't forget to check us out on Twitch. We do stream there every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The link down below to our Twitch channel. And if you want to come by there, ask any more PC questions, I am always free to answer them there. But until then, have a great yesterday, and of course, Tech Ran out.